Now, this possibly is the most important slide that I wanted to discuss with you. We discussed the different types of colleges and feel free to ask questions, guys. We have plenty of time for questions after I'm done with my slides. Different colleges, what is the key message I'm trying to give here? Different colleges look at admissions differently. If I had, if I was like Professor uh, Andrag, if I had a whiteboard, I would actually draw a line on a whiteboard where on the left, I would say, non-holistic admissions, holistic meaning whole, W-H-O-L-E, uh, -E, not the other kind. Uh, holistic admissions on the left and non-holistic, sorry, and, as, and move it on a scale from left to right and 10 is fully holistic. What does holistic admissions mean? Holistic admissions mean that they look at all of you, all of you, academic performance, your test scores like ACT, but they also look at the person behind the application. Who are you as an individual? And I have a slide that talks to it. So if you get clear, I think if you just want to take one big concept from today, it is this concept that different colleges are, they sit on different degrees of holistic admissions. So San Jose State, and other California state universities, these are completely non-holistic. And if there are any parents, especially ones that grew up in India, if you are on this meeting, our college admissions back in India were completely non-holistic. All they care about is our GPA or performance in 12th grade and perhaps an entrance exam. Here, the similar concept would be your GPA your test scores like SAT or ACT, and that's all it is. And the major that you want to apply to, that's all that San Jose State University cares about. So the internships that you're doing with SEBA, if you present it to San Jose State University, they'll say, my applications have no room for your internships at SEBA. Or if you are a really kind person, or highly empathetic person, and you tell San Jose State, consider me because I'm highly kind or highly empathetic, they'll say, that's good to know, but I have no room for it, or I just don't know what to do with it. So that is non-holistic admissions. Completely holistic admissions, example, Stanford, example, Ivy Leagues, example, University of Southern California, University of Chicago, Northwestern, Johns Hopkins, MIT, these are fully holistic, where they look at your, GPA, test scores, but lots of other things that I'll talk about in a second. The UCs, University of California, is somewhere in the middle. Again, think of a 10-point scale. Zero is San Jose State University on holistic admission. Stanford is fully 10. UCs are at roughly seven or so. What does that mean? That your academic performance is is high, heavily emphasized, but they also look at other things like your essays and others, but not as much as Stanford. So for example, in one of the top colleges like Stanford, even though they're so ultra competitive, about 75% of the students had a GPA of more than four, but 25% did not. The averages are what I showed you, the point I'm trying to make is that because what does holistic admission mean? That they are looking at all of you. GPA is important, but not everything. So you could have a 3.9. But if there are other things that you have done, which we will talk about, you can still get in. And that is your internship with SEVA and the other things that I'll talk about in building a holistic student is, is uh, what we want to talk about. 